What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to YGOPD, your Yu-Gi-Oh! Professional Development. And like I said a couple weeks ago, I am back to showcase a full deck analysis of the Tri-Brigade Leerless deck. Um, been a big fan of it, been excited to continue learning and growing and working with it. Um, there's been a lot of changes that people have suggested. Thank you all so much for those changes. I definitely will be making those. But just for myself to get familiar with it, I wanted to use the build I kind of started with just so at least I can learn and then add those extra texts and a few other Leerless names and stuff like that later on but with that said i want to still make sure i shout out our new public subs leonardo and squish blogs thank you all so much for joining the channel uh, a huge shout out to all of our non-public subs as well if you would like to be included in the next sub shout out just make sure your subscriptions are public when you subscribe so i can see who you are and i will include you in next week's shout out so before i get started we'll go ahead and recap the deck profile if you've not seen that go ahead and take a look it's on the channel just a couple weeks back you should see that as one of the most recent videos and then i'll go ahead and talk a little bit about the math of the deck do a basic combo with both the tri brigade piece the lyrilist piece and then a full on test hand so we'll go ahead and hop into the math piece okay hopping into the math here you'll see a partial screenshot of the deck again this is 40 cards and this just encompasses all the tri brigade all the lyrilist and then all the things that can either search those or count as material for banishing for your Tri Brigade names, and I wanted to talk a little bit about the math for that. If you're looking for the sweet spot or the magic number for probability when building your deck in general, if you're focusing on 40 cards, 14 and 23 are your magic numbers. Both of those give you that 90% chance going first in a five card hand. For 14, it's seeing at least one of those 14, and for 23, it's seeing at least two of those 23 is that 90% threshold. Um, so we built the deck to at least hit that, if not a little bit more. Um, for the Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast names and or ways to search them, we have 28 of those. That means we have a 98.9.8% chance of seeing at least one of those, which is great. A 97.7% for chance for two names and an 85% chance for three names. So when I showcase these two cards combos, know that you're at about a 97% chance of seeing that almost no matter what. Um, in terms of at least you want to have two names, you're going to have them. So that's the one good thing about the deck is you have a really high chance of getting whatever you need whenever you need it the second part is the tri brigade names we do play 15 of those that is at least seeing one of those tri brigade names in a five card hand that hits you right around the 92 percent mark um, the other thing to note is just lastly the Leerlisk. Um, and this explains for a lot of folks if you're unsure why the Leerlisk package can sometimes be smaller mine is on the smaller end in terms of eight cards sometimes you will see people not even play uh, the second sparrow and you'll just see three one and three bird call. But um, if you take into account those plus all the level one birds and ways to access level one birds, you're at 19 specifically in this build, which is that 97% chance for it seeing at least one of those for a going first card. Uh, so that's the basic math behind the deck. You're really wanting to hedge your bets no matter what, so that way you can combo. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and showcase two quick combos and then one live test hand. Okay, and starting with the combo itself, you're just going to pitch Fractal and do the standard play of Fractal, Dumping Kit, Dumping Nerval, and then Nerval's effect will trigger getting you a Keros from deck to hand. From there, you'll use Keros's effect, discarding the kit, special summon the Keros, and then from there, you'll use Keros's effect to banish four to go ahead and grab your Sure Egg. Forgive me if at any point I do mess up zones, I'm playing upside down uh, for the camera's sake. So, uh, but from here, you'll go ahead and link these two off. And then from there, you will go ahead and make a bear broom. Go ahead and grab that. Uh, from there, what you're going to do is trigger sure egg to search and you will go ahead and search a copy of the fabled Cerberal. I think as long as tier is in the meta or any grave reliant decks, this is still a, a guaranteed must know combo for going first. It just shuts everything off, which is really great. From there, you use Bear Brum's effect, discarding one of your blanks as well as the Cerberal to bring back a kit. Specifically, it will need to be a level two Tri Brigade, and then Cerberal's effect will trigger special summoning itself. And then from there, you can go ahead and use Kit's effect uh, banishing two more and then we have our blank in our graveyard to then special summon uh, Farajit here um, this could be any other link but I like Farajit for a minute or I will get into for a second from there you go ahead and synchro both into the Herald of Arclight you have to do this first because using Bear Brum search effect for revolt does lock you into tri brigade specifically and then from there you'll get rid of these two for a two material Apollosa 
Go ahead and throw that there. And then in a new chain, you can have Bear Brum as one and Farajit as two, just to chain block the Bear Brum. That's why I like that. Uh, we'll draw one, put one back for Farajit, and then we'll add the Revolt, and then we can put one of our blanks back to the bottom of the deck. So that's the bread and butter basic fractal combo. If you're doing the Cerberal line, I like to showcase that a lot. It gives you the one Banish for Shureg, the Omni Negate plus Grave Disruption for Herald, the two materials for Appalosa, and still a spare card in hand, as well as the follow-up you would get from making Shureg for the search on the next turn. So that's combo number one. We'll go ahead and hop into the second combo utilizing the bird package. Okay, we'll go ahead and showcase the second combo here. This is focusing on the Lyralisk side of things. This works with Turquoise Warbler and Cobalt Sparrow. This is going to be pretty standard. Um, I'm not going to showcase the Wagtail piece just because I like this one a little bit more because of how Tear is in the format and what it can do. But again, you can change out names. You can do this a lot of different ways. I'm going to showcase you the bread and butter combo that I am personally a fan of. Again, starts with these two, plus you got three blanks in your hand. You'll go ahead and use use the Warbler Special Link itself and the Sparrow. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and trigger the Sparrow to then add a copy of Swallow from your deck to your hand. Go ahead and grab that. From there, you're going to overlay these two into your first copy of Recital Starling. We'll go ahead and plop that there. Recital Starling will trigger. You'll detach one of your birds to then go ahead and search a Nerval. So we'll go ahead and add that. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and use Swallow, special summoning these two. And then you'll go ahead and overlay and make your second Recital Starling. And then from here, you will specifically detach Nerval to go ahead and search a copy of DD Crow. Um, I like this just right now because of tier. Any type of Grave Disruption you can add, the better. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then Nerval will go ahead and trigger in a new chain to add a copy of Kit from our deck to our hand. We'll go ahead and grab that. Sorry for the quick cut there. Uh, <laughs> camera died, had to recharge that battery. But the next step, as long as I'm at the same place here, is we're going to overlay our two recital Starlings for our F0 and then our Utopic Future. First piece of interaction here, a monster negate um, that also snatch seals as well as keeping us insulated for anything for the future turns. Uh, from here, what you're going to do is normal summon the kit. And then the combo is going to look a little bit similar from before. We're going to go ahead and banish four to special summon our Shureg. From there, what we will do is we will link the kit and the Shureg into our copy of Bear Brum. And then in a new chain, we will go ahead and trigger the Shureg to search. In this case, we're going to add a copy of Cerberal from our deck to our hand. And then from there, what we're going to go ahead and do is discard Cerberal. And one of our blank cards can be anything here to go ahead and bring back the Nerval that we had banished earlier. And then Cerberal will also special summon itself back. And then from there, what we're going to go ahead and do is use the Nerval's effect and banish two more. And then we will go ahead and special summon out a double Dragon Lords from our extra deck. Um, and now from here, ideally, again, if this was a level two and you had the extra extenders, you could go for Herald of the Arclight. But we're actually just going to link all three of these away to make a three material Apollosa. Go ahead and throw that right up here. And then again, we'll go ahead and use Bear Brum to add a copy of Tri Brigade Revolt from our deck to our hand. Go ahead and grab that. And then we will again put one of our blanks on the bottom of the deck. Doesn't really matter what. And that is the example of our second combo. Uh, definitely shows at the bare minimum, you can do plenty more with the birds and you could probably take this a little bit further. But again, this is the bread and butter combo I am a fan of. Um, with just those two birds, you get a monster negate through uh, F0. That is also a snatch seal, a three material Apollosa, a bounce with DDL, a banish with Shureg, and a grave interruption with DD Crow, as well as still one blank left in your hand. So that's it for the second combo, and we'll go ahead and hop straight into the live test hand. Okay, we'll get this shuffled up and just do a quick test hand to wrap things up. Give this a quick shuffle, quick cut. See what we're working with here. Throw our extra deck back over to the side. 
we got a Nerval, Crow, Kit, Imperm, and Revolt. That's a dead hand. Okay, give this a quick shuffle. And then a quick cut to see what we are working with. So we have a Fractal, which is great, Imperm, Second Fractal, Ash, and Keros. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be pretty similar to the bread and butter combo, but nevertheless, we can still kind of showcase how we can do that. So we'll go ahead and do Fractal, use that effect to dump Kit, then dump Nerval, and then we will go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add, mm, I don't think there's any reason not to, we're going to add a Nerval here just because if we hit the level one bird engine later down the line to get to swallow to have this to special in hand is going to be important so we'll go ahead and do that and then what i'm actually going to do is save the level one as our normal summon so we'll discard a fractal special the keros uh, that way we have four names engraved so we'll go ahead and banish all four of those two special summon from our extra deck a copy of shureg and then from here we'll go ahead and get rid of both of those for a copy of bear Brum. Go ahead, grab that, and then we'll use Shurig's effect. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the Cerberal line, I think, here. Um, we may not even want to or need to do the Revolt line, but I do think Herald of the Arclight is too powerful to pass up in the tier format. So we'll go ahead and add that, and then we'll go ahead and use Bear's effect. I'm actually going to discard these two here. We'll go ahead and get rid of the extra name uh, to bring back. We're going to go ahead and do Kit, um, and then we'll go ahead and trigger Cerberal's effect bringing it back um, and then from here we can go ahead and use kit um, and we will banish let's do two let's go ahead and do two banish two and I'm gonna actually play it safe I'm, I'm gonna keep I think I'm gonna prioritize let's do I'm gonna prioritize revolt over the imperm just because we're gonna end up making a two material Apollosa in this case. Um, obviously, let's if that's the route we're gonna go, then let's just go ahead and use Farajit just to be safe. So we'll do that instead. Um, and then from here, what we can go ahead and do is synchro these two and make our Herald of the Arclight. And then from here, what we can go ahead and do is get rid of these two to make our two material Apollosa. And then we'll go ahead and use uh, the Farajit and Bear Brum. Bear Brum as Chainlink 1, Farajit as Chainlink 2. So we'll draw one, put one back. Doesn't really matter what that would be. And then we'll go ahead and add the Revolt from our deck to our hand. And then we'll go ahead and put back the Imperm just because we already have a two material Apollosa. And that's a very basic combo, obviously. You could do way more um, depending on the birds or depending on how you want to kind of do that combo line. But we still, at the very least, have an interruption in the form of Ash as one piece, a Banish with Shurig that also gives us follow-up as two, Hero of the Arclight as three, and Apollosa as five. Um, so still being able to turn five cards into five interruptions with follow-up is really, really strong. So that's it for the deck uh, analysis, some of the math behind it, a couple combos, as well as a basic test hand. Again, this is very preliminary. I, there are way more in-depth guides out there too, but I wanted to get something out just as I'm continuing to learn and showcase to you that you might be helpful as well. But with all that said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.